Hi. Hey. Tashi Duncan. She's gonna turn a whole family into millionaires. She'll have a fashion line, a foundation. You were incredible today. Thank you. I mean, it wasn't even like tennis. It was an entirely different game. Hey, come hang out with us later. Want me to come tuck you in? No, we can just keep talking. How often does this happen? Going after the same girl? Not as often as you think. We usually have different types. So you're saying I should be flattered? Aren't you everybody's type? Come here. Which one of us? He's not in love with you. What makes you think I want someone to be in love with me? It's nice to see you lit up about something, even if it's my girlfriend. Art's got his coach, Tashi Donaldson, who also is his wife. I'm playing for both of us, Tashi. I think maybe we're disturbed by the fact that she could have been into someone like me. When we were teenagers. When we were teenagers. Hey, I love you. You don't know what tennis is. It's a relationship. We went somewhere really beautiful together. I'm taking such good care of my little white boys. I assume you planned this? Not this part. Writing the old stuff. What ifs and hypotheticals don't really matter in the end, do they? Nothing matters in this world if Tessa's not here. I hope you're making progress in the new book. Everyone is dying to see it, and I'm afraid I can't keep putting people off. You can't rush greatness, can you? I can when I've given you a quarter million dollar advance. I met Natalie over Christmas. She asked after you. She moved to Lisbon. Lisbon? Mm. Amends. You need to leave. I really wish I could just go back. I've moved on, and so should you. I know who you are. If you were up to me, you'd be rotting our cell. I'm so scared of failing, so I just end up ruining everything instead. If I didn't have her, I wouldn't have the book, but if I didn't have the book, then I would still have her. I'm not ready to move on. You can't just talk about us like that. I can't imagine living another moment on this earth without you by my side, Tess. You really piss me off. Don't tell me. Without you, there is only me. Broken, lost, and alone. It's easy to believe our ability to love is finite, especially when your heart is broken. Believe it or not, slowly, you will heal. You never know how lucky you are to spend the rest of your lives with the other half of your soul until you've had to spend your life without them. You know, I read your book. So what happened with Tessa? I was practically the only non-white person in my entire high school. And you never felt discriminated against? I definitely did, but not because I was Asian. Because of your inherent bad personality. Exactly. Do you remember that internship that I applied for? What about it? It's in New York. New York is overrated. It's so gentrified now. How many times have you even been there? Are we counting layovers? You always assume the worst about me, and then you end up acting crazy over nothing. I'm not acting crazy, so stop using that word. 
You're just proving my point. Are you two, like, broken up? We're taking some time off. While the cat's away, the, the mouse, mouse will play with himself, probably. Can I kiss you? Ben. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little out of practice. It's clear. <laughs> I'm gonna go to New York. Listen, maybe you could come with me. I thought you came out here to clear your head. I did. And then I met Meredith, and I've been there ever since. So when are you gonna see her? I mean, I'm here to see Miko. She's an intern here. Actually, I'm the only intern here. You have problems with anger, depression, your weird self-hatred. You could benefit from a little self-hatred. Interesting. I know you're going to want to blame this on society or on your race or whatever, but this really is just about you. Is this your rock bottom? What is she doing with that guy? They're being adorable. So, we finally get to meet your mysterious boyfriend. Hello, Ben. Hi. Praise Jesus. Maybe just be honest with him. <laughs> Is anyone sitting here? No. What's up, pigeon? We don't talk about the circle, it's a secret. What's a secret? Exactly. I give you Travis Madam Madam! This isn't for me. I'm gonna go back to the door and study. May I? To oh. one. Are you standing here? I don't know if that's good for me. See you later, Pigeon. What was the deal with the one guy covered in tattoos? Oh, that's his roommate. He's a sophomore. That guy goes to college? <laughs> You're not my type. I'm everybody's type. <laughs> wow. So hot. No one's my favorite. It's too late to close it now. Why are you here? I'm just trying to take you to dinner. I'll pick you up at eight. I must break you. Go for it. That's who you're fighting? Is this your weird little way of admitting you like me? I don't like you. If he manages to lay a hand on me, I'll go without sex for a month. Like a bet? Yeah. And if I win, you have to stay with me for a month. Ooh. You're on. Hey! Pack your bags, pigeon! You're coming home with me! Don't cross this line, okay? Wall of China! Wow. What's this? It's not a pen, I'll tell you that. You embody everything that is wrong with your gender. We can at least be friends. Abby, get out of the way! Friends, but with no benefits. <laughs> Whoa! What did I just get out of you? There's so much about me he doesn't know. And I'm madly in love with you. Shut up and just kiss me. Okay. Come here. Yeah. Hey, Abby, give me a hug. Hey, baby girl. Don't greet her like this. It's too porny. I know who you are. You are two wins away from your first Grand Slam title. I know what happened to you. <laughs> Something like that is really hard to recover from. Some people are hard to recover from. Like Glenn Latforn. No, stop. I'm so sorry, Justine, but we have to close this chapter. He abandoned me. It wasn't his fault. You have to move on. Justine, come back. <laughs> this is a timely reunion. You need to move forward now. That part of your life is over. You're spying on me. I don't want things to be difficult between us. You mean you don't want them to be difficult for you? I know he is a bit of a beast. What do you know? A secret affair. I want to report something that happened five years ago. What's all this stuff you've been saying about Glenn? That's all true. This is insane. I was her coach. That's all there was to it. How could you destroy all of those good memories? Who initiated it? He did. All it takes is one person to believe her. Maybe there's something wrong with me. Come back.
come near my family again. I break more than your wrist. Why can't you just believe me? Because you lie about everything. Nothing ever happened. Twenty thousand. Come on! There's one million millionaires in Hong Kong, which means one out of seven people in Hong Kong is a millionaire. How about that? Somebody turn it up! Um, I'm serious. I've never been with anyone longer than three months. Yet I choose you to be my queen bee, baby. Well, welcome to Hong Kong, the greatest city on the planet, where you can party nonstop, Monday to Sunday. Every week for free. You'll need a VIP to back you up. VIP? A very interested person. In this town, every model has one. You. When did the party last night? I'm Sean. Camilla. Wrap me up in pinky <laughs> lemon, peaches, and cream. Maybe you can change him. Show me all the things you love. Show me your dreams. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met anyone quite like you. Ooh. <laughs> Get out! Ooh. So I have to go. Well, how about a yacht trip this Sunday? Two days here. You, second person, try buying me. Wrap me up in ribbons, put up. He's never been faithful to you. Treat me like a gift. You can treasure me now. <laughs> It was a scam. You know about Vadim? He didn't do anything? That guy almost killed me. We wanted to teach you a lesson. Where's Camilla's room? She left for the airport. Wait, the airport? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come to Spain. Spain? Ten days, all expenses paid. Get out of town for a little while. Okay, look, no, you can think about it. Why are you smiling? I just got some good news about my trip. You must be crazy if you think that I'm getting this thing with you behind the wheel. I don't know how to drive. This has got to be a nightmare. So are you going to tell me what this trip's about? This trip is about finding my mom. She's from Spain. Over the last two years, I've been doing a lot of research, and I came up with 10 mother candidates. Wait, 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 wait. That way, that way, that way. I was wondering if you had a daughter. I moved around a lot. 12 different homes in my 18 years in the system. I just got fed up with all the unanswered questions. What happened to her? What's my family like? This is the only thing I have of hers. I got a better idea. When you want to stop before you start And you feel it falls in where you are Stay open Look at your mom's signature. It says Maria Astieros. What if it said Maria Ostieros? And I just found an address. I've died and gone to Venus. Well, you're certainly not from this world. <laughs> to the sound. Good 
they're really doing this? She's throwing it to Michelle. Michelle catches the flowers. You get married next. Your life's all set. I grew up wondering if I would be able to stand in front of someone and promise her the rest of my life. But here we are. It was a reflex action. It was the most awful moment in the whole history of women being stuck with you idiots. You've got one day to tell me we're on the road to somewhere. I'm naked under this. What are we doing here? I'm underdressed. I could be asking the same questions at home with my wife. You walk out that door, I'm gonna figure out how to kill you and get away with it. I really can't do this if there's a ring on my finger. That's how it's done? Those are professionals. The symbol of our love. This ring means commitment. Where the hell's a ring? Yeah. Mom. Honey. Michelle wants to marry me. She wants me to be happy with her in the future. I think that sounds romantic. <laughs> I think it's science fiction. So why haven't we met these people? Our kid sleeps with their kid. Doesn't that entitle us to a dinner? My parents want to have you guys over. Absolutely not. Why don't you want to meet these people? What could we possibly have in common? Mm. Mother? Yeah! It is so nice to finally meet oh. you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Dad? He's outside? Oh. Sorry, I'm a little late. <laughs> hey. You can't kill me now. I got company. Guess what? what? I'm the company. That's my son, Alan, who's with your wife holding your daughter. Would anyone care for a drink? Oh. Yes! yes. What about the day that we don't remember we gave each other the best parts of our lives? We did this to them? Mostly you. Are you in love with my wife? No! Damn it. How do I know if I love her? You would ask yourself the only question that matters. Does this girl carry within her the potential to suck out your soul like a Nosferatu? No. Then go forward, my son. The board want to offer you partnership, but in the last three weeks or so, you've been distracted. I got this email from my great aunt Eugenie. She left you everything. Country mansion, her whole estate in England. She may claim this inheritance if she can find the hidden treasure of Amelia Wood. Allie, this is a joke, right? Should I call the police or...? Call the police? This is my house. <gasps> no, it isn't. I mean, it will be. Who are you, anyway? Alyssa! After all these years! You don't use Alyssa anymore? It's Ali now. But it's such a pretty name. It sounds like a fairy name. Exactly. Not really fit for the real world. This is Ali. She's my old friend. She's on a quest to find Amelia Woods' hidden treasure. Hannah says you're some kind of local history expert. Sorry, can't help. This is like exactly what you researched. Fine. Fine. We have so many paintings to find. Should we go for lunch? Fish and chips. Oh my god. Wow. Jennifer Hargreaves. She's got to be the key to all of this. Key to what? What do you reckon? Front door or side window? If I don't solve the mystery, then I forfeit my inheritance. What would you do with it? Because it's important to us, to our community. We'll have to do some research on the beach. Research? On the beach? You're the newest resident of the village. The village's newest resident arrives by steam train. Why didn't you just ask? Couldn't risk a no. We'll be adding a new step to the festivities. We're going to team up to find the hidden treasure. Apparently, I'm not a true villager unless I swim in the sea. Wow, I did not think she'd do that. No, I didn't either. Oh my god, of course. It's the frames. They're gold. Solid gold. I have to call Elizabeth. Alec, where have you been? That figures. Time to head back to the snake's nest. Never mind the, the gaping hole you'll be leaving in this community. Dad says you're selling the hole and moving back to America. Moving back to LA. Are you kidding? So, what are you going to do here? I actually can't remember how we managed without you. Before me, you had my great aunt. I could never live up to her standards, but together, maybe we could fill the gap. So, are you not going to talk to me?
I'm sure you're the daughter of my father's new wife. From afar, I couldn't see your freckles, baby sis. I'm not your sister, so don't call me that. He's a complete dick. But is he cute? I didn't notice. There's no party without Nick. What if your dad finds out about all this? What's that? It's a knot. No knot's a match for me. Forget their stories, dude. Get wasted and make up with the hottest boy here. I don't know what's happening to me. It's the first time I can't control myself. You want me to stop? Are you sure you can resist? You did what you want with the rules, man. So the win is ours. What the fuck are you doing? Our kisses are eternal. You promised that all that was over. Why do you always make it so hard for me to hate you? We gotta do something, Will. <laughs> because now we've just begun our story. Did you like the letters I sent you? You know what I was doing last night? No, but whatever it was, you sound very excited. If my party and my husband doesn't want to dance with me. I'll dance with you. Maybe we have to take more with. So now you're falling in love with someone else, you're taking that risk. Think what's happening between us. You cannot change someone like him. What they think, what they want to do. I think I'm falling in love with you. You say that to another that image. I say it when I feel it. You say it when he talks about you. I felt something that I hadn't felt in a very long time. This is what always happens, we just forget. Guys, we are here with the stars of Super Society, Adam Clark and his girlfriend, you are heading down to Mexico to wrap up the trilogy. We're hosting Hollywood royalty for the next few weeks. So you want me to babysit these Hollywood locos? Mr. Clark? He's probably doing his silent meditation. Adam! Hey, um, I'm in character, so this doesn't count, right? The best thing you can do for you right now is to say absolutely nothing about the breakup. Every time a guy like Adam Clark breaks up with a girl like Sophie Wilder, you are the one it gets the short end of the stick, it's you. I'm not talking about his stick. I don't know if it's short or not. I didn't look at the nudes when they leaked. I just made them go away. I'm sad. I heard an audio book that said you're supposed to lean into that, like let yourself be sad. <gasps> Who are you? Oh, I'm Alejandro, the junior manager for the hotel. I'm really sorry about the towels. Uh, have a great stay. Oh my God, he walked in on you completely naked. Good evening, Miss Wilder. Late night? Call me Sophie. You have seen me naked. I wasn't looking. Well, now I'm offended. Night. Hi, Miss Wilder. I was wondering, can I take a tour? I'd actually like to go dancing. I'd be happy to assist you with that. What time? At midnight. Don't believe in the future. Hey. Hey. We can see. You're totally falling for her. She's leaving soon. This can't go anywhere. The idea of us getting back together. It's got legs. He cheated on you. This guy's a monster. It was a five-year relationship. Kind of complicated, isn't it? I wish we could go somewhere we didn't have to hide. What are we doing? Where is she? What the hell is going on? This was a huge mistake. I'm not on vacation. I'm supposed to be here for work. Can we just give this a chance? Meet me in the I mean, cheating, it's, it's actually very hip. It's very French, you know? Why do you think we all go to Cannes every year? For the movies? 
This is Bella. Ba, ba. Bella, this is Mr. McCandles. Hello, Bella. No! Oh. She's an experiment. Good evening. Her brain and her body are not quite synchronized. But she is progressing at an accelerated pace. Tell me, where did she come from? I shall. For it is a happy tale. I am Bella Baxter, and there is a world to enjoy, circumnavigate. It is the goal of all to progress, grow. A woman plotting her course to freedom. How delightful. may remember Riley. She's trying for varsity this year. Rest assured, she will earn her spot on this team, and she will complete Hell Week. <laughs> no surprise there. If you ever want the extra practice, I could let you in. How did you start playing? In the backyard with my dad. I was the only girl out there, but it didn't matter. I've never felt more alive than being on a football field. I see you. Varsity is no joke. You could get hurt. <laughs> You enjoy my message, soft hands? Do not sabotage my championship! It's not like me quitting football wasn't your idea. I can't keep up this charade. People are gonna tell you what they think you should do your whole life. Follow your heart. I'm here for it. Mom, how long have you been there? You should know that I'm part of something. You should know that the world is changing. You should know it's amazing. I can't do this. I have your back. The whole team does. Unbreakable. Our whole season comes down to this one game. Riley is the first woman football player in Parkview's 100-year history. Create a legacy forever. How many things in life last forever? 